Oh, guys, how you doing? Hello See again, you. Lenny. How are you, Sue? All right? Good, good. I'm very well, thank you. And now, um, I, I wanted to ask you how, when you decided to take this project on, how soon after Frank did you say you're going to do something like this? I was actually talking about Room before I made Frank. Um, and because it took quite a long time from when I read the novel to getting a sort of into dialogue with Emma and then, you know, Actually, I made a movie called What Richard Did around the same time as I started thinking about Room, and that movie did quite well and made a bit of a splash at Toronto, and uh, all of those things helped in the in the in getting me to the position where I could get the rights to make the the, the, the film I wanted to make. And then it, I was pre pre production, I think, or beginning to get near pre production on Frank while I was working very intensively with Emma. So it was two incredibly different projects going through my head at the same time: the the madness and kind of freewheeling craziness of Frank and then this much more concentrated, emotionally sincere film in, in Room. Did it help doing it in that particular order? Do you think it would have been a very different project if you would have done Room first? I think so. I mean, I, I, that's a very good point. I mean, I think every time you shoot, it's like you, it's like exercise. You just, you know, it, 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 it's a really, it helps me develop. And I think Frank was a tough, hard shoot. And I think it, it was good. I felt like battle hardened enough after Frank to go into something as demanding as Room. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk a little bit about Room. Obviously, sure. we have um, two great young actors um, in yeah, the lead. Yeah, very young actor. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah, one absolutely very young. Were you, did you have any uh, apprehension about working with someone so young in the first place? Yes, I did. I mean, I have worked with children before, but you know, a child to carry a film to the extent that, that, that he carries this film is an incredibly hard ask, as they say. So until we really got into it, I, I didn't know. I knew that he had it in him artistically, but would he have the stamina? How would he feel? Would he get embarrassed? Would he have days where he just didn't want to come out and work? And you can't force a small child to do something they don't want to do. So I was, yeah, I had many sleepless nights before we shot, but and it was probably about four or five days into what was a 50-day shoot, so quite a long shoot. I, I started to relax. I was looking at the rushes. I could feel the relationship between the two protagonists. I could feel how solid Jake is, you know, seven-year-old boy, but like, he just came out every day dying to do it, you know, enthusiastic clever you know I just struck gold and what's been the reaction from uh, fans of the book and what, what's been Emma's reaction as well to the film well Emma because she was so in intimately involved in it and also sat in and some of the shooting she'd come and visit she she did know where we were going with it but then she saw it, uh, a, a nearly finished cut in New York a few months ago she cried and she was she hugged me and she was really happy and that meant a tremendous amount to me and then in terms of the fans of the book I think generally speaking it's been really really positive people have said that they felt it was a, a sort of true Truthful, you know, internally truthful, um, true to the spirit and the emotional resonance of the book, and that's important as well because it's a great book, and I, I, I didn't want to have its fans feel that we had taken it and done anything bad with it. Excellent. Well, thank you, and I absolutely meant it when I said it's one of my favorites of the festival. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. It. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.